What's happening guys? So I've been enjoying myself down here in Nullsec. I wanted to show my first day of fleet fighting. Uh, it's something I haven't done in an incredibly long time. We're talking 2008 when I was in roadkill. And when I was in roadkill we did kitchen sink fleets or just hull sizes. Like we're taking this hull today and that is you'd fit up whatever and go and do something. Here, not so. You actually have doctrines where you'll have like four or five ships to choose from and this is how you fit it and then you can buy it on contract and you go now i was kind of uh i didn't like this at first because i liked you know i, I had brought a lot of stuff down here to fight with and none of them are in these fleets but then over time i started understanding the value and its purpose of um, why they do it this way and i see the benefit to it and completely understand and now prefer something structured that way just because seeing it in action and how it all comes together it definitely makes sense so there's been a lot of things that have changed since i've been the null sec there's a lot of new terms thrown around that i've never heard of like crashing the gate anchoring and things like that so as commands are given um i didn't understand them and you know like everyone's all nice well oiled following directions and then i'm kind of like over here a little bit I noticed it. I'm sure other people did. They didn't say anything, but it bothered me. It's like, you know, I, I don't know what these mean, but throughout the day, I, I started figuring them out on my own, and then towards the end, I was I was pretty comfortable and happy where I was in comparison to earlier in the day, and time, you know, I'll improve even more. So, uh, in this video, it's just us capturing some space, doing some Saw Warfare, which blew my mind because I'm used to pillaging, you know, uh, towers, and I'm like, you want us to bring what? I'm thinking, like, we're supposed to bash stuff, you know, but no, it don't work that way anymore, which is kind of unfortunate. I like that, but um, we captured some space and then uh, killed some locals, and then there was a, a Twitter guy that showed up. Uh, his name is Tarva or Torval or something like that. Uh, forgive me if uh, I didn't pronounce that right. Uh, I'm just going off of memory here. And what he does is uh, gets a bunch of the community together and from all different corps and facts of Eve and goes on fleets together and runs null sec. And so in this, this day he did a frigate fleet and they happened to roam down in our neck of the woods. And uh, I think they killed a Tengu uh, ratting or on a gate or something. I don't know what it was doing there or what the story is behind it. But I came back from dinner, and uh, there was alerts up to join fleet. So I did, and uh, I think there was like 26 of us, and there was like 40 of them or so. And, uh, you know, so they were pretty much all brawl fit, so we just ranged fit. And uh, we warped around and got a couple kills and killed off the stragglers here and there. Now you have to understand, like, well, uh, our response was good, and... What had happened after that was great on our part, I felt. Um, they're working in a severe disadvantage. And the reason is, these are guys that are industrialists, no skill. You never know what background they come from. They don't know what they're doing. It's stressful. And then you have the leader that's trying to get all these parties to keep calm and organized. And he's, that's what he's working with, to respond to people that do this on a daily. This is... No surprise, this is daily life down here, you know, so it's all natural, it's very mechanical, muscle memory, you know, following directions, performing actions, versus, you know, that mess. And the like watching his stream as he's fighting us, I could see the stress, I really could, and I don't know how he does it, but it's amazing that he does for, like, you know, providing that kind of entertainment to that many people. It's extremely hard to come down here or anywhere for that matter, and, and do this. So props to him. Uh, I have much respect that he goes to that length to bring entertainment to people. And I wasn't aware who he was, but then 
you know, after I watched the stream, I just looked around a little bit and I'm like, this guy's all right. It's cool that he did does stuff like this. And it's extremely hard to do this, especially trying to do this offensively versus defensively because you have the home field advantage on top of that. So with all these cards stacked against them, they go and do these things and they get nice kills, you know, for cheap holes. And it's a... Uh, it's something that would be fun to be a part of, you know, if uh, you should, I'll uh, put a link to them in uh, this video. So that way, if you're interested in just exploring, you could join one of his fleets and head out there and have some fun. Because I have no doubt these guys had a good time and it's definitely something you should try. It would be fun. Well, anyway, uh, I'm just going to show you briefly this, uh, my first day doing roaming. And uh, the fun that was to be had. <laughs> you guys have a good one. Alright guys, preheat your guns. We're going to be priming the scythe first. Scythe is primary, scythe is primary. Anchor up, anchor up. I'm going to have to bail soon. Somebody else, go in for tackle, go in for tackle, go in for tackle. Alright, shoot the thorax, shoot the thorax. Props on, props on. I need secondary attack. Working on it. Pet heat if you were heating. Bill from the side. Okay. Go. Pot X him. That right. would be very Shoot bad if that was me. Light it up, light it up, light it up. Anchor up, props on, anchor up, props on. We're burning at the side. We just had plus one still in Nova and GPLP. Okay. Off my Send him home. He's cloaking. Burn for decloak if we can. Burn for decloak. Burn for decloak. Dictor, do not aggress. Dictor, crash and zero up on the gate. Guys, let's get rid of these rats, please. No, oh, we got oh, a decloak. All right, get him, get him, get him. Point. <laughs> that was fast. Send him home. All right. Alright guys, spike in range, spike in range, spike in range. Warping us to Grinwald at 70. I am in warp. Bubbles are safe. Do oh, bubbles. Fantastic pointed. Bubble up, bubble up. Bubble up. Bubble up. Defense has more zone. Alright guys, remember range and spike, range and spike, range and spike. Anchor up on Piotr on land. Primary will be Phantasm. Phantasm's in the middle of the bubble. He's warp. He's fucked. Kill the phantasm, kill the phantasm, kill, kill the phantasm. Point on Typhoon. I got the Typhoon slammed and whipped. So, Stiletto just tackled my Claymore in U104. Alright. Typhoon. Overheat. Line back to the MSG gate, line back to the MSG gate. Can you please link the Stiletto that's tackled you in uh, fleet? I did. BV Dark. There's two Max coming for him. Okay. And what do you? Oh, right, you're in the fucking claymore. Yeah, overheat on this guy again. Don't burn out your guns. Very nice. All right, warping wing MSG. Warping wing MSG. Range and spike. Range and spike. Point. Come on, come on. Nope, nope, nope. You just, you just grab on him. All right, which one do we have tackle on? Do we have a tackle on Edward? Yeah, we don't. All right, we guys, don't. anchor on Piotr, anchor on Piotr. Scripts on, scripts on, shoot the fucking back. Somebody call secondary scram. He's trying to get back to the gates. Gun scram, Edward. Overheat, 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 overheat. You want me to grab him with the claymore? I can warp in. Overheat, overheat. Don't burn out your guns, don't burn out your guns. Bump him if you can. He's aggressed. He's yeah, he's aggressed. Can I bring the claymore in? He's for more trying deep? to kill the scrams. He's trying to kill the scrams. All right, nice. we got him. 
Can we get secondary tackle on that other mech? Working on it. Pointed. Need scram on him. All right, guys, anchor up, props on. We got to burn away from him. We got to burn away from him. So just anchor up on Piotr, anchor up on Piotr, props on, props on, props on. We got to pull some distance. Scepter, be safe. Scepter, be safe. Rodney's well. All right, all right, all right. All right, we're good. All right, warping wing, warping wing. All right, reload spike while we're in warp here. Reload spike. Still have one to play D, guys. Nope, he just muted me out. Oh god, that hurt. I might have warped us a little close here. They're taking aggro warp off, guys. And grab on Piotr. Back. Got him scrammed. Okay, good. Web. Oh, he's gonna probably kill me, though. I got a point it's fine, web just on die. Him. Hold the web, hold the scram, hold the web, die. <laughs> oh no, it's just a disruptor. Do you want bubbles on these max? He's going, he's dead. Rip. And I'm home. Good job, guys. Nice. Ooh! <laughs> these are very blingy. Uh, please, can I get people scooping? Oh, Very good to them also. pretty much the end of the engagement there um but i'm glad they brought it It was a good time and uh it was fun i hope they they come back in the future i i really enjoyed that all right guys you have a nice evening